have completed my 12th standard. Yeah. What is the importance of NCRTs in the UPSC? Yeah. Okay. So, see, uh, one thing I have to clear: NCRTs are not built for UPSC. NCRTs are basic books which are given to students of school like uh, from first standard onwards till 12th class NCRT is for school going children but what happens is we always involve ourselves in cramming up things and also presenting it in the exam without having the correct conceptual clarity of it but in NCRT they write it for the people who are of I mean, like 7th class, 8th class, 9th class children for them to better understand they write it in a very clear manner so if you don't have a conceptual understanding of something you go better back go there and learn it and come back again that's why you are requested to st study NCRTs but that doesn't mean like you study all NCRTs you will be getting bored after some reading some NCRTs if you have a lot of time it's okay but if you are not having you need to know with what is the syllabus if I am having society you will be taking 12th class society book and you will be seeing what are the uh, syllabus what what it is saying if it is saying about regionalism, you will be going to the regionalism chapter and you will be studying it. If they are not talking about some uh, some other thing in society, why will you be studying it from NCRT? You also need to see what is the yield ratio, input to output yield ratio, you need to see what, if I am keeping this many hours, how much of content I am getting from it. So NCRTs you have to read, if you are not lacking concept of something, Better go back to NCRT, learn it and then come and read some advanced book.